Now, where does this one take me? Oh, that's the... What's that? Full restore? Okay. This is... Is this the story progress? It looks like it. Right? Or is the other one the story progress? Uh, honestly, either way. Oh, and this one is the way back outside. Okay. I'll quickly go back down and heal. Just in case there's any other um, commanders or anything in here. Or like, just grunts in general. What's up ahead in this one? Oh, this is the podium, of course, of course, of course. Is there anything else here? Any hidden items? No? Okay. Alright, that's just there for, um... I guess logistical reasons or, like, consistency reasons or whatever. I might, after I'm done here, take a look at the map and see if there's any items that I've missed. And pick them up if I, uh, if I need to. Oh, you don't fight me? Okay. I'll quickly go save, by the way. Okay. Who are you? Ugh, I feel too sickened to say anything. But that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Well, let's see. Yuxi is sealed inside and appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Okay, there's Saturn and Charon, right? Okay, do we lead with Mox or do we lead with someone else here? We've led with Mox a lot and um... Oh, if only Holly had Intimidate, then that would be a great, uh, a, a great one to start with. Um... I still think we might want to start with Holly. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's... It, it has very few weaknesses, that's the good thing. Like, just ground, and they don't really have a lot of ground-type Pokémon. So, you, you came all the way here just to save some Pokémon. Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand, I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come here. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting, for your insulting me at the lake. Okay, let's see about that. Let's see what you can do. Commander Saturn. Golbat. Okay, good. That, that was the right choice. Plus, Rivalry is actually helping us out here. <sighs> Confuse, Ray. I hate you so much. God. Please, Holly. Please, just... Yes, there you go. Thanks, Holly. Thank you very much. Please knock it out. Knock it out. Yes, very good. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, Golbat fainted. There's some XP. You love to see it. Through to uh, uh, 46. Bronzor. What do we have against Bronzor? Don't really want to bring in a, f uh, a, fi a fighting type. Bark type moves are neutral. I guess we bring in Jade and um, x it. I don't know if it has anything good against us. Extra sensory, we, re we resist that. Yeah, we resist that. Let's hit it with an x -scissor. How much does it do? More than half. Uh, confuse Ray. Mm -hmm. Confuse Ray. I'll still exit it again. 
Come on, Jade, you can do it. You can power through. Or not, I suppose. Extra sensory again. Okay, we'll switch it out. I guess Holly. As long as you don't get confused. Extra sensory, come on. You can eat that, you can eat that. There we go, no issues there. Crunch? Well, that's also just neutral. Let's just spark it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, that should be enough. It is. A crit. Well, with the crit, it's obviously enough. Bronzo faints. And next up, who's the last one? Wait, what was your ace? Toxicroak. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what would you have? Probably a fighting type move. Pretty sure you probably have like poison jab or something. Maybe some... What coverage could you have? Dark, probably? Either it's gonna be faint attack or sucker punch or something like that. And uh, fourth move is a mystery. Let's bring in Lex. Let's see about that. Please use a poison move. Yes, there we go. That's a free switch. Extra sensory. Brick break. Okay, okay. So that's a pretty decent fighting type move, actually. Okay. Please kill. Because... That's... Um, I think we would just barely live a crit, unless this was a low roll, but still. The psychic type move, of course, demolishes Toxic Rogue. There's some XP. And Saturn is done. You're tough, kid, but whatever. Um, okay, here's some money for winning. Yeah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Uh, press the button. Yes. And our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three, uh, from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed for creating something. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Caron. Uh, Saturn and even Cyrus fall to a mere child. Team Galactic's state of affairs is worrying. The, uh, that plan of Cyrus is atop Mount Coronet too. Who knows if, uh, if it will work. Hmm. Perhaps another option needs to be considered. One befitting of the genius of Charon. Ah, what are you planning? Okay, now before we leave, I'm quickly going to take a look at the items that we can get. And maybe see um, if I have them, if I still need to find them. Okay, apparently there is, and it's one I actually really want, but it's a hidden item. Good to know. At least, like, there's probably a couple of things that are hidden that I haven't gotten yet, but, like, I'm not gonna go look around for a nugget. Like, sure, it's, it's probably good to sell it and all that, but uh, there's another thing I want to find. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It should be in Cyrus's office. I positioned myself perfectly. And with that razor claw, we should be able to uh, evolve our Sneasel into a V-Vile. So that's, that's good to see. Oh, this is opened. Very nice. I'm gonna go back to the other uh, page. Right, there it is. Now let's go outside. What does this say? Team Galactic Warp Panels. The green warp panels returns you. Uh, the green warp panel returns you to the ground floor. Onwards to a new universe. Team Galactic. Okay. Is this now unlocked or? Uh, it isn't. Okay, so this is always just a one way. That's fine then. Okay, I'll quickly go heal up, and then we'll see what else we can do.
Okay, and there we go. Rhino is evolving. Because, you know, Cyrus has a couple of flying types. Good to have another, you know, Pokemon that covers for it. Plus, I think it can learn Surf, so that would be nice. A Rhino evolved into Rhydon, there we go. Uh, Hammer Arm, sure. We could do that, we could do that. Instead of what? Um, Hammer Arm is 90 accuracy, 100. Lowers the speed. I guess instead of take ta uh, takedown, I think that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Forgot takedown. And learned hammer arm. And now, there we go. It's gonna become a Rhyperia. Alright, let's see. There it is, there it is. It's a Rhyperia now. Beautiful. Okay, so currently the team looks like this. Holly, still the same. Uh, then we have Lex with extra sensory hypnosis, gyro ball and grass knot. But that's gonna change because I'm gonna go grab a TM. Uh, that is a rock type move because his Gyarados, like uh, Cyrus Gyarados, is rough. It is rough and uh, it has coverage for electric types, it has coverage for uh, for rock types, so um, Lex is not actually in danger of a super effective hit. So giving Lex a super effective move would be nice. There's an electric type TM that is only available after the battle, so that's not gonna be the, uh, the thing we teach it. So we are gonna have to deal with a, with a rock type move and the uh, accuracy that it is associated with. Uh, then we have Jade, still on the team like before. We might still tool around with the moveset a bit, but... Um, I don't know, it, 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 it's here to tank stuff and maybe dish out some hits or something. Then we have Rhino, with Surf, Stomp, Stone Edge and Hammer Arm. Um, Stone Edge... Like, Rhino is here because of the, um, because of the Honchcrow and the Crobat. I don't know if it alone will be enough to take them out, but it's better than nothing. I thought about giving it Avalanche as well, but I think we're gonna need that on Weavile. So I'm gonna save that for now. Uh, then we have Mox, Mark Punch, Close Combat, Flame Wheel, Shadow Claw. Of course, Mark Punch is gonna be very useful against uh, his Weavile and against uh, uh, his Houndoom. Um, then we have Colt for TMs, uh, HMs to get up uh, Mount Coronet, and that's it for now. But uh, I'll see you in a bit when I'm at the TM that I want to get. Okay, so I think over here we should be able to get a TM at some point. Let's see. Ah, there's a battle. We'll run from that. This isn't... Look, it's a level 5 Psyduck. I don't need to prove myself to it. One second. Let's run. And let's see. This is the one I want, right? There we go, Rock Tomb. We can teach that to Bronzong. Otherwise, I think maybe Grass Knot might do some decent damage as well, but I'd rather hit super effectively if possible. Plus, Grass Knot is special and Bronzong's physical attack is a bit better. But yeah, I think Gyarados is heavy enough for, uh, for Grass Knot to do decent amounts of damage. Let's see what's on the other side though. Explore that real quick, because I haven't yet. What do we have here? Anything over there? Rock appears to be breaka uh, breakable. Let's crack that rock then. And you. That one breaks as well. Let's see where this takes us, if there's any items here, because to be honest, I have no idea. I do not remember at all uh, what's back here. Maybe it's hidden items or something? I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, there's an item. Okay, let's see what's back here. 
See if that's worthwhile. Would be nice, of course. I guess we'll see. It's breakable. Rock smash. There we go. Luck incense. Okay. That's okay. Let's break this again and uh, follow the uh, waterways, I guess. See where that takes us. But, uh, I mean, it's probably not much. So after that, I'm gonna leave again and uh, buy some more repels. Just to make sure our passage through Mount Coronet is not absolutely heinous. Okay, Psyduck again. I'm gonna run once more. I don't need to do this. Okay. Let's see. What is a deep blue color? Yes, let's surf on that. Now, what's back here? If it's a waterfall, I'm gonna be sad. It's not a waterfall, it's an item. Water pulse! Okay. I'm sure someone can learn that at some point. We do have a pretty severe lack of water types, so um, I'm gonna have to see what I can still catch to make sure we can even waterfall. Otherwise, we might have to put Gyarados into the in the party just for the uh, for the HM without being allowed to use it in battle or something. We'll see. I'm sure we'll find another water type. It's the most common type after all. Oh, is it or is it normal type? Either normal or water, I think, are the, is the uh, most common type. So, uh, I'm sure we'll find some. Look, I don't want a Psyduck. Wait, we have a Psyduck? Well, that could learn Waterfall, maybe. Okay. We have a Psyduck? I must have forgotten about that, but sure, that's fine. Oh my god, leave me alone, Pokemon. Leave me alone. I guess I'll see you outside of this cave, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see you outside of the cave. Okay, let's quickly, let's quickly buy some more, uh, some more repels, and just make, just to make sure we don't have to, uh, run from that many battles in Mount Coronet, I would like to buy, do you have repels? There we go. Max repels, how many do we have? We have one, that's not much. Let's get a nice amount, like 20. I don't know if we, if we will need all of them, but we could use them in uh, Victory Road if we don't need them all. Okay. Now, I guess I'll see you at Mount Coronet then. Oh, um... Well, I was just about to go to Mount Coronet, then I saw there was a path I hadn't explored, and I just ran into someone. But that person should be weak because... We had access to this all along. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Youngster Austin. Weasel. Okay. Yeah, this... Uh, we could have gone here much, much earlier. I'll quickly crunch it. I mean, there we go. It fainted. Now, let's see who's next. Luxio. Let's crunch it. And uh, again, that should easily do it. Luxio is done, and um, who's next? Gligar, okay. That's gonna be another crunch. Oh, a quick attack. And a crit as well. Wow. Crazy stuff right there. And that's done. Alright, Youngster Austin defeated. Couldn't win with just energy. Yeah. You also need Pokemon with decent levels for that. Can we get up there as well? Okay, no later. I guess we'll have to rock climb down from that one exit. Ah, okay. I was wondering if he might turn around or something. Ha ha ha! Laughter brings good fortune. Okay. Let's see about that. Hiker Kevin. Okay. 
Now let's see. Ah, not the best matchup, but I think a crunch should still do it. Yeah, there we go. It's a good thing Sturdy doesn't work the way it does now. At least for me, it's good. Another Geodude. Okay. Well, there we go. <coughs> That's taken care of. Another Geodude, I guess. Right? Is there gonna be another one? Yeah, there's a Geodude. Okay. Well, you know what to do. There we go. Next one down. And I guess one last Geodude. No, Onyx! Okay. Crazy stuff right there. Let's go for a crunch. And it actually lived. It actually survived. I mean, we're, we are debuffed by a rivalry in this case. And Onyx has a lot of physical defense, so I guess that makes sense. Didn't really get it anywhere though, so... Uh, Hiker Kevin defeated. Oh, oh, oh. There's nothing to laugh at or something, I don't know. Not really important. Anything up here? A hidden item maybe? No, okay, that's fine. Let's go over here, grab this one. A revive! <laughs> That was worth it. Okay, I'll I'll be right back. I'm gonna heal up real quick. <laughs> 